does evil music draw in demons? But the the real question is, can you get a demon from listening to demonic music? This is a conversation and a debate that many people be having. Many people have this this debate. Can you get a demon from just listening to music? The question is, no. See, it's 50-50 when it, when it comes. It all depends on how you're asking the question. But many, many people say that as soon as you listen to that music, you, can, you get a demonic spirit. That's wrong. Now, what I will say is, you can get demonic influence. You get demonic influence. But no, you're not going to... See, what we got to understand is that music is very... There's spirits with music, okay? That's why Satan loves to hear this demonic music. He loves to hear the demonic music. Because if you got little kids that's listening to this music, they can get influence to go out and do that stuff, to go out and live that type of way. That's how they get influence to listen to that stuff. See, and but this is where the problem comes in it. Because you got people that's in this world that's in this music industry they're making this demonic music in the book of Luke I believe it's chapter 6 verses 45 it's saying that whatever that a good man have good good things stored up in, a, in, in their heart it's going to come out but if an evil man has evil stored up in their heart that's what's going to come out when you hear these these songs, it's all these different type of genres. See, God gives gifts without repentance. Okay, he gives all of his gifts. But see, here's the problem with it. You, you can choose what you want to do with your gift. Either do wickedness or righteousness. But you got people, this music industry is so demonic. It's very demonic. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows about the music industry. There's many people who made YouTube videos speaking about the music industry. You hear artists who who then fell off, who not even in the game no more, who not even making music no more. They they telling you what's going on in the music industry. They tell you how crooked the contracts are. They tell you how you you will go broke from signing that contract. But that's how Satan get people with those contracts because they come from nothing. And then when you get a contract placed in front of you and you see all them zeros, what you going to do? They're not even trying to uh, read them all. They see all them zeros. Oh, they going down and signing it. Just think about that. The industry is demonic. There is one artist now. This is where I'm about to paint a picture some more for you to show you that no, you don't get a demonic spirit just by turning on a song and listening to it, and, and then a, a demonic spirit just jump inside of you. No, it does not work that way. No, you get the influence to live that certain type of way that they're doing for them to basically these wicked artists are promoting you to go out and do what they're what they're speaking about. But see. Let me paint the picture for you. Okay, you got... You got... um These these artists that come from the hood, okay? They come from the hood. They come from nothing. They come... They... they it's these artists that... Their stuff in the streets. They've been to, they've been to, uh, to um, prison and jail and stuff. They've been, they've been to all these places. They've been through it. And you got a, a child growing up and they listening to that stuff. It's going to, they're going to, and, and especially if they idolize that person, idolatry, if they idolize that person too, 
and they'd be like, wow. So if I, if I go out there and do drugs and kill and rob and be in and out of prison and jail just like them, I can be just like them. I can I can grow up and, and be cool like them. You see what I'm saying? And now the child is gonna be like now the, now the child is gonna go out and do that stuff. That's where the demon comes in it. Cause you gotta remember, demons need a body to do their work. They need a body. We have to give them an invitation into our body by what we do on a daily basis. That's from fornication, sex. You transfer spirits when you're having sex. Doing drugs, when you're getting high out of your mind, you drawing in demons to come into you, into your mind. Satan wants to attack your mind. So when you do the drugs and you, and you invite them in, they're going to come in like a flood. Because that demonic artist then inspired that child to, to go out there and do drugs. These artists have influence. And they're using their influence in a negative way. When they're going out there getting drunk. You just you just invited a whole demon to take control of you. Getting sloppy drunk and you, you, you blacking out. Waking up the next day don't know how you got there. That artist then inspired you to go out there and get drunk. Think about that. They give demonic influence. I heard this one artist. I forgot the name. I forgot who who said it. I forgot uh, who who said it. But after they said that, that just go. That just went and showed that that's how wicked this industry is. When you go in, um. See, the dude said he made music, okay? When he first came out, he made an album, okay? He made and it, it did something. You know, he was talking about all this killing and drugs and stuff in his music. The fans loved it. See, and that's another problem. The fans are the ones that bring you the money. That's basically for, for basically everything. The fans are the ones that bring in the money. And see, the fans said, so a dude made a song. The fans didn't like it. Why did they didn't like it? Because he wasn't talking about no killing. He wasn't talking about no sex, no drugs or anything. So the fans said that they don't want to hear it, that they don't like that. So the record label came and told him that he got to make another song. He gotta do he gotta make another uh song because we because the feedback that he got from it, the fans said that it wasn't it wasn't enough killing in it. It wasn't enough drugs or sex in it. So they didn't want to listen to it. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. You're not gonna make it in this industry if you're not talking about that stuff. If you're not talking about sex and drugs and stuff. Now I not all the time because you got these other, you know, you got country singers and you got R certain R&B singers that's that's singing about love and stuff and they're not talking about no sex or anything in their music and they st they still getting, you know, recognition. But when it comes to like this rapping and stuff, oh no. And certain R&B, that's why you hear all these R&B artists nowadays, they talking about sex and drugs. They're talking about the same exact stuff that these rappers are talking about. That's another prime example. You have to talk about this stuff in your music. They're going to force you to talk about it in order for you to sell. And if you're not, don't even bother worrying about being a longevity in the music game. Don't even worry about that. This is what's going on. So that man had to go back and redo his whole song because he wasn't talking about drugs or sex in it. And you got these people out here having these foolish arguments. They're having these foolish arguments talking about. They say, and, and I can't stand people like this. When they say, show me the Bible, I need an exact scripture to show proof that, that you can get demons from listening to music. If it's not in the Bible, I don't believe it. 
if you can't find me a scripture, I don't believe it. So let me give you a prime example then. If you come across this video and you got that type of mindset when it comes to music and stuff, let me give you a prime example. Is the word pornography in the uh in the Bible? No. But you know that pornography is, is bad to watch. Why is it bad to watch? Why is pornography bad to watch? Huh? Why is it bad? Because you get influence from watching that stuff. You get influence to go out there and that's why it's free. Because when you watch that stuff, now you got the influence that now you feeling all horny. You feeling all, mm, I'm, I need to watch some porn to get in the mood. Mm, I need to, I need to, oh, I need to do that. I need to, it gives you the influence. It gives you the feeling to go out and, I mean, to uh, have sex. It's like that with music. When you listening to this music, you listening to it, you listening to this killing and all this stuff, this rapping and stuff, this talking about drugs and stuff. It's, ooh, it's man, ooh, that don't. That you don't feel oh okay i like that i like that oh it touches your soul so it gives you the influence to go out there and go do it listen to the word magician musician uh -oh. magician musician life and death is in the power of the tongue a lot of these artists are speaking their own death. A lot of these people are speaking stuff over their lives. They're speaking this stuff. Wake up, y'all. Wake up. That's why this industry is so demonic. Music is very is music is very spiritual. Let's put it like this. Music is very spiritual. That's why music helps people from going through depression, suicidal thoughts and stuff. It helps people do that. That's why these wicked people love to hear this killing and stuff because they're just like them. They can relate to them. So this that their favorite artist who's wicked and demonic, they're going to they're going to give them influence. They're going to they're going to give them the drive to go out there and keep doing that stuff. That's what that's what it is. So yes, it is bad to listen to this demonic music, but stop listening to these people where they say, "Show me a scripture that if you if if you um listen to music, a demon gonna come out and and listen." Don't don't listen to people like that. No, it is bad to listen to that that uh demonic music, that rapping, that talking about drugs and sex and stuff. Yes, it is bad to listen because you can get influence. But no, you cannot. You you a demon is not just going to jump inside of you because you listen to the song. I can listen to, I can listen to to rap right now. Listen to that demonic stuff. But it's not going to a demon not going to jump inside of me and make me go out there and go kill somebody. No, no, it's not. It's not. But we gotta be aware, y'all. We we gotta pay attention that this stuff is demonic. These artists, and yes, the scripture, there's another scripture that says it's in the book of Matthew. It says that whatever is in the man's heart, that's what they're going to speak. Yes, these people are demonic. They are demonic. If they're rapping about it, they're talking about it, they're talking about their actual life. Some of them are, not all of them. Some of them just want to be studio gangsters. But a lot of them actually did this stuff that they're telling you. They actually did this. These people are demonic. We gotta wake up. We have to wake up, y'all. These artists, they have so much influence. That's why I tell you, that's why you see all these people, they bowing down to these artists, they fainting when they when they see these artists. They they're literally fainting. Got, gotta go to the hospital. They worshiping these artists. I tell you, the the uh two celebrities that have so much influence in this life. Whoa, the two. 
I say like this. I don't know how to say it, how to describe it, but I'm gonna say athletes and musicians are the most are the celebrities that have the most influence in this life. Everybody wanna be in the NBA. Everybody wanna be a football player. Everybody wanna be a rapper. Everybody wanna be a singer. Like like just think oh, especially rapping. It's like you you look around, you got athletes that wanna be rappers now. You got you got uh actors that wanna be rappers. Rappers turning into actors. Uh oh. Think about this. It's all about influence. Satan can't make you do something. Just like when Satan tempts you, God would give you a way out. He would give you a way out of that temptation. But he, Satan cannot make you do anything. Just think about that. But that's why he used these artists. That's why he used these artists to to give you the the temptation to to give you the influence to go out there and do that stuff. That's why you got to be careful what your children is listening to. You got to be careful what they're watching. You got to be careful. You got to pay attention to your children. And and like I said before in a in another video, because I heard somebody else say this to it, and I thought that was just the most powerful, one of the most the one of the most truest statements that somebody ever said. It's funny how, you know, and that's why so many, you know, I'm I'm talking about with these single parents stuff. They so focused on they be more focused on what the let's say for a woman, because it's it's majority of it, and I'm just spitting facts, you know, you could be mad at it all you want. It, that's up to you but there's more single mothers in this life than single than single men raising their children but it's but with the single moms and single parents they they be more focused on what that man is doing what that what where he at who you with or that that man be focused on where that woman at what they doing where they at but then i focus on their, their uh children and what they listening to and what and focus on their homework focus on on that child getting their homework done but they but they all they would sit down stay up all night and do some calculations for where that person is who they who they sleeping with who they talking to on the phone who they texting if you would give that that same energy to your child and make sure make sure that their work is finished and make sure that they listening to the right stuff watching the right stuff then it, it won't be no problem or if you're if, if the parent is righteous, then they would be focused on their child to be righteous too. But if, if that parent is wicked, that child won't be wicked. A parent is a child's first teacher. Think about that. So I ain't gonna say too much more in this video. Um no, you cannot no, a demon does not just jump into you when you listen to a, a demonic song. No, it, it doesn't. It gives you influence. But it, a demon does not jump into you when you listen to a demonic song. No, it doesn't. So anybody who disagree, don't care about your comments. You don't, you don't got to comment just to be heard or something because I don't care about your comments. But if you want to comment, you know, anyway, so be it. I don't care. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I love all of y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Make sure that you like in the video. Um, you subscribing if you want. And, you know, make sure that you're sharing the video with somebody who, who thinks that you can get a demon by, who think that you can, you, you, you get a demon just by listening to a song. No. So share this video and I'm out. Peace.